قال سبحانه وتعالى شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان Blessed month We will be experiencing one of the most blessed months in the Islamic calendar Many Ramadan comes, many Ramadan go But What do we find? In our 30 years of life, 40 years of life, we have experienced We have been performing the Qiyam for the last 20 years, 30 years But it's limited to Ramadan, to Ramadan. Our life before Ramadan our life after Ramadan is the same as if we are only practicing just for Ramadan, just for Ramadan. Ramadan finishes, Quran is put back on the shelf. Ramadan finishes, the massages are getting empty again. Ramadan comes to an end and we can see the taqwa dying down, dying down. Islam is an ongoing journey. The more you practice, the more you should be motivated, the more closer you need to be your mind. It's not something like when a special occasion comes, when a special month comes, when a special day comes, then we need to be practicing. Whether the special day is there or not, whether the special month is there or not, whether the special night is there or not, as Muslims we should always be practicing. As Muslims we should always be having taqwa. As Muslims we should always be going towards Almighty Allah by the day. This is our journey. This is for the rest of our life, not just for Ramadan. Let me give you a few advices which we can make this Ramadan different to our previous Ramadan. Every Ramadan comes, the first few days, we make a lot of changes in our life. Many changes from this Ramadan, I'm never going to do this again. From this Ramadan, I'll make sure I will do this. Rather than making too many changes, it is better to stick to two or three small changes, which we will stick to even after Ramadan until our death. That is better. Rather than performing a lot of Qiyam, rather than reciting a lot of Qur'an in Ramadan and Ramadan is over, not reciting anything Ramadan is over, not performing even our five daily salah it is better that we only read one juice, half a juice but we stick to it not only for Ramadan, we stick to it until the day we die أَحَبُّ الْأَعْمَارِ إِلَى اللَّهِ أَدْوَامُهَا وَإِنْ the Prophet sallallahu said that the best action which Allah loves the most is those actions which are done continuously with steadfastness even though it may be less. Continuity. Not only for Ramadan but until we die. We need to keep the changes we... We need to save the changes we have made in Ramadan. We forget to save the changes. That is where we go back to our life that we were living before Ramadan. So let us make this Ramadan a bit different than the normal Ramadan that we have been going through for the last few years. Let us make this Ramadan different. That it was Ramadan 2014 that I fell in love with Allah. It was Ramadan 2014 I fell in love with Quran. It was Ramadan 2014 Allah made me his beloved. It was Ramadan 2014, I started performing all my salah with Jama'ah. It was Ramadan 2014, I left that sin in my life. Let us make this Ramadan a memorable Ramadan. A Ramadan of remembrance. A Ramadan which will be remembered for the rest of our life. That this Ramadan was a life changing Ramadan. This Ramadan was just a different one. We ourselves need to make these assessments during Ramadan, evaluations after Ramadan. When Hadith of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on the authority of Abu Hulayya radiallahu anhu the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says Kullu amal ibn Adam lahu illa siyam 
every action will be written down for him by the angels, by those who record the deeds, except for fasting. Why? Because Allah Ta'ala make a blessing. Fasting is for me. And I will personally give the reward to the person who fasting. When a person is performing salah, somebody walking in the room, somebody going out of the room, somebody passing by, we notice somebody, this person is religious, this person is practicing, this person is performing salah. When a person is giving something in charity, somebody may see him putting his hand in the pocket, somebody may see him dropping a few fines. Somebody may notice. Somebody will notice that this person is reciting the Quran. But fasting, nobody knows. Unless the person himself tells others that look at our fasting. Nobody knows, even the person sitting next to you will not realize that you're fasting. So Almighty Allah says, this is a deed which only I know. It's like a secret between me and myself. So something which only I know, and it's only between me and my slave, I will personally give the reward to my slave. Allah loves sincerity. Allah loves that we do actions and it is kept between us and Him and nothing else, nothing more. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu la tubthilu sadaqatikum bil manni wal adha. All you who believe, don't nullify your actions, your sadaqah, your charity by boasting, bragging about it. You start bragging, you start putting up on Facebook, you start tweeting about it. That's so nice after eating that full juice. You just put the status up on Facebook, you've nullified your reward. Keep it between ourselves and Allah. Allah loves which is secret. Allah loves which is sincere, purely for Him. Nothing more. Fasting is something which only Allah knows. Finds a secret between a person and Allah. Then Allah is the person who gives the reward. Fasting is for me and I personally become the reward of the fasting person. So whoever fasts, he will get Allah in return. Allah will become his. Now somebody who gets Allah on his side, he's got Allah for him, what more does he need? What more does he want? The greatest reward, he's got the creator with him. Everything else is creation. Allah is the creator. He's, he's got the creator on his side, what more does he need? Never even understanding. Spend your whole life like the way you spend Ramadan. The enjoyment you get at the news of the Eid, Allah will give you much more enjoyment at the time of your death. May Allah give us the reality. May Allah make this Ramadan a special Ramadan. May Allah make this Ramadan a memorable Ramadan. May Allah make this Ramadan a Ramadan which will be different from the previous Ramadan. If it will be a changing point in our lives, we'll make Allah first of all give you the ability 